Thriving for Kids First, and today I have the awesome opportunity to talk to Meg Donnelly and Milo Mangham on the new DVD release of Zombies 2. So how are you guys? We're amazing. <laughs> We're so happy to be here. Um, yeah, I loved Zombies and Zombies 2. I felt like it was such a success and everything. So what was your favorite part about filming? Meg? I I think um, just being with everybody because um, everyone in the cast were such a huge um, family and uh, we really worked together as a team. Um, and I think just spending time with them, especially we filmed in Toronto, like both of the movies. So just exploring the city together and having game nights and sushi dates all together. Totally. Just it's so much, so incredible. What about yeah, you? I mean, when you're watching the movie, you totally forget about all the, all the times the actors aren't on set and we're, you know, spending time running through the city, trying to find new places to eat and playing games. It's so much fun. And me and Meg definitely lucked out with our cast because we got such an amazing group of people to do that with. That's so much fun, yeah. yeah. Um, so in Zombies 2, werewolves and humans, they kind of have to work together. And um, I know Addison is like all for this idea. Um, so do you think this is kind of an important message for people nowadays? Um, especially like here in quarantine and everything? Totally. I mean, I think both movies have such great messages. And I think that especially during quarantine, I think it's easy to lose sight of what's, what's, va what's valuable to you, what's important. And, you know, it's important to remind yourself that you can persevere and you can get through it. You know what I mean? Especially yeah. something that, that we can learn from zombies is that, you know, we got to be able to adapt to change. And if something is going to change, we got to be able to, you know, we might not be comfortable with it immediately, but we at least got to try, you know? So that's what, that's what I learned from Zombies too, and that's what I'm doing here in my quarantine. Yeah, yeah. and um, you guys both have a musical background, and Zombies and Zombies um, too, they both have a lot to do with music, and there's like a lot of singing and dancing scenes. So how is it filming all of that? Incredible. I mean, it's the most fun thing ever, is it not, Meg? You want to take it? It's incredible. I mean, Milo and I grew up like huge theater nerds and like that's why we bonded so well because we just love musical theater and dancing and singing and acting. Um, so it was just really, it was very, the first movie, we were both terrified because yeah. it was like our first like big thing and especially for Disney Channel, like it was a dream come true for both of us. Um, but you know, just like hopping in there and just like going back to our theater roots and just having a blast. Like it just felt like se second nature, especially Chris Scott. He was incredible. Like just like making us feel so comfortable. So um, yeah, it's great. Totally. I mean, it, it's, it's definitely hard. Don't get me wrong. The days are long, but if you find the people that love to do it and you put them together and you put them in one huge room and have them dance and sing along together, forget it. It's going to be the most fun time ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's funny because I was obviously not in the movie, but whenever I'm like with a friend um, and we're bored at a sleepover or something, the first thing we would think of is to watch a movie on Disney. And then we would watch Zombies too. And like, we would love looking at all the music scenes and like dancing along with you guys. Meg, I know you're learning Japanese with this quarantine. I think that's so cool. I'm actually learning French on Duolingo. I mean, hey. it's fun. So are you guys <laughs> learning any other languages? Just Japanese for me. I don't know about Milo. I'm... I, I feel like I used to know Spanish so much better than I do now. I used to take Spanish in school and, you know, I used to have uh, a person staying with me who spoke Spanish fluently. So I used to be a lot better at it, but I feel like I've just lost it and it's just dissolved because I don't speak it that often anymore and I don't I refresh my memory. So I got to do that. Yeah, no, it's so hard, especially because I'm Latina and um, I speak Spanish, but at school, no one speaks Spanish. So it's like hard to keep up with like yeah, learning totally. a language like when you can't really speak it and it's only at home um totally understood yeah. i mean that's why we're learning because i feel like there's so many people especially in southern california that speak it that i feel like i'd be able to communicate with better if i learned how mm -hmm. and yeah. um meg i know you released a song that's awesome and um yeah so what comes first in right now in your career like are you more focusing on acting or singing or like a combination uh, that's a good question. Yeah, I try to balance both of them as much as I can. Um, but in this quarantine, since, you know, um, I have no idea when um, 
movies, TV, et cetera, is going to be open again. Um, it's really easy to do music, like doing like Skype sessions. So right now, currently in this moment, I've been focusing on music more just because um, it like I can do it. But with acting and everything, um, that's not open yet. So but when I can do both, I try to balance both as much as I can. Um, yeah. Um, Milo, I know you're an only son. I'm an only child. So did that kind of bring you um, a lot of imagination? Because imagination is a huge part of, I think, of this film. Because like, you have to imagine everything, like the zombies, the werewolves. So okay. did that help you at all? Or? Yeah, I mean, I, luckily, my mom, she's an actress as well. So growing up, I, I'm really happy that it was just us two because she would always take me to set. Um, because, you know, she's a single parent. I'm an only child. So I didn't really have anywhere else to be other than on set with her growing up. So I was able to be raised on the set of the show that she was working on and see how it all worked behind the scenes. And yeah, I totally think that being an only child has contributed to my extensive imagination. I also think that it's part of my, partially my mom, you know, just giving me, allowing me a place to use my imagination. And I'm grateful for her for that. And I'm grateful that, you know, everybody encourages creativity in my life and they don't push it away. Do you have any siblings? No, I'm the only child too. Hey. Oh, I mean, me and Meg are basically yeah. siblings though. We're, we're, yeah. we're just that close. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, yeah. I grew up pretty much with me and my mom and um, I feel like imagination is like such an important part of everything if you think about it. Yeah. So, um, you guys have accomplished. Hmm? I still have, like my imagination still runs wild now. Yeah. I like, talk to yeah. myself all the time. <laughs> I'm just gonna help it. Don't push it away. No. And you guys have accomplished so much. It's crazy. Um, at such a young age. So what do you think is like the hardest part of being an actor when you're successful and like popular in Disney Channel? All right, I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> you know, when it when it first all happened to me, it really didn't affect me too much because when I was doing uh, when I booked this thing, Zombies, I was already at high school and I had already established some of my friends, so nothing really changed for me. When I went to college, that's when it all sort of happened for me and I was meeting new people and I was like, whoa, I am this person that people are going to want to meet. And it, it made me take a step back, but it's, you know, also given me so many opportunities to do so many amazing things that I would have never have been asked to do. But um, it's definitely something that I'm aware of constantly and I want to make sure that I'm responsible with it as well, you know, because great power comes great responsibility even though I don't have great power I just have so <laughs> <much power. laughs> what about you Meg oh um just in general I think the hardest challenge when you're like um young and you're in the entertainment business is like balancing a social life with work um because when I was younger and I was auditioning all the time there'd be like parties and like friends would invite me over to their house and a lot of times I had to be like oh I have to audition um and also theater kids, I think, understand that. Like, sorry, I have rehearsal. Yeah. Um, but um, so, like, that's definitely challenging. But if it's something you love and it's something you're super passionate about, then it's so worth it because in the end, like, that's what's most important. All your friends should understand that. So it, it's great. But I think that's the hardest challenge, like, being young and being in the business. Yeah. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for talking with me. I had such a great time. Um, I hope thank you guys did you. too. Um, yeah. <laughs> You're awesome. Before we go, can I have a quick photo? Of yeah. Course. Let's do it. I gotta make sure my hair looks good. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> Yay. Awesome. Amazing. It was nice meeting cool. you. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Too. You're awesome. All right. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to check out the new DVD release of Zombies 2. I had so much fun today. And make sure to check out some of our other Kids First reviewers and reporters on this channel.